The film is about a young orangutan girl named Ozzy who loses her rainforest home and entire family. She's raised in a rescue center that we call the orphanage until she discovers that her parents are actually still alive and sets out with her new monkey friend Chance to find them. Ozzy is a, a property that was actually initially developed years and years ago and then eventually came to be partnered with Mikros, uh, GCI Films with Mikros. And it was one of the first films that Mikros was involved from the very beginning on uh, with story development, visual development, all the way through the final rendered frames. Yeah, we had to organize this production half in France, half in uh, India. Uh, yeah, so we had to connect our, our two way of working and uh, build a workflow between those two countries to exchange the data. So we were involved with the screenwriting, through the storyboarding, all the character design, uh, environment design, modeling, everything all the way through. So now you owe me, huh? C'était une expérience géniale puisque on est parti de la feuille blanche. On n'avait pas une contrainte de départ, une licence ou, ou autre. On avait une créativité euh, ouverte. Le projet a commencé quand j'ai rencontré Tim, le réalisateur, et euh, qui est venu avec un, un mood board et euh, ça nous a permis d'avoir de, des ingrédients de départ, mais on s'est inspiré de ça et ensuite on a on a pu créer l'univers au fur et à mesure du projet avec euh, toute l'équipe artistique. We were lucky enough to have our director with us at the studio, Tim Harper. He was our client, but he was also completely part of the team. And uh, we had a very strong relationship. We had a really strong friendship as well. And uh, I think he was trusting us and we were trusting him. And uh, it helped us uh, really develop, progress, involve, and do the best as we can on making the movie. Oh my gosh! La forêt, c'est quelque chose qui a été vu et vu et revu, revu, revu. Et euh, je m'étais dit, tiens, c'est un challenge qui m'intéresse d'arriver à ce que ce film ait sa propre identité. Ce qui a donné ce qu'on appelle maintenant l'outil pour faire le Bambi Effect. Souvent, en 3D, on va fabriquer un arbre, voilà, il est, il est, il est texturé, il est beau en avant-plan, la caméra est là, et puis. Pour simplifier la vie, on va prendre l'arbre et on va le mettre au fond. Comme ça, on gagne du temps, c'est le même asset. Sauf qu'en rendu, l'arbre euh, qui est détaillé ici, bah, il a de la matière. Quand on est au fond, bah, on a la matière, mais il y a beaucoup de bruit. Les illustrateurs, les peintres, ils simplifient cet arrière-plan. Donc il fallait trouver une astuce qui permette de garder cet aspect plus 3D sur l'avant-plan, mais que dans la profondeur, progressivement, on va vers le matte painting. Donc le matte painting peint, mais que cette 3D, bah, D'habitude, euh, bah, justement, sur les films précédents, bah, on a la 3D, la CG, puis paf, il y a un moment, ça s'arrête, ça devient de la painting. Bah, là, c'était de trouver une astuce pour que cette CG progressivement va, aille vers, le, vers la 2D. I don't have a plan. I have a hack. The biggest technical challenge was, no surprise, uh, COVID lockdowns uh, and having to do the whole thing remotely. First day of storyboarding was the first day of lockdown in France. So I met one of the story artists here in the studio as he was picking up his computer to bring it home, and then I never saw him again. <laughs> uh, in fact, there are still a couple members of the story team I've never met in person because we just worked remotely the entire time. Ooh, yeah. Chance was a big challenge. Uh, Chance uh, with all his hair moving all around, so uh, it was half artistic, half technique. And uh, all those characters with a lot of hair, especially the adult uh, orangutan, was really heavy. So we had to find some solution to make it nice and easy to render. That was not always the case. Our challenge was more to do some more graphic effects. So we had some reference, some mockups done in uh, 2D by uh, really uh, good people who are doing uh, 2D effects. And then we convert them to 3D to keep the artistic intention and add some more volumes and subtle things that uh, could be done more easily in 3D. So yes, the, the artistically, that was a big challenge too. And it was an interesting one, so I think we pulled it off. Mm -hmm. <laughs>